Hola, les damos la bienvenida a tu conexión aquí y ahora vamos a estar presentando este programa en el idioma del inglés porque hoy tenemos una invitada que no habla el español, así que espero que a ustedes que están conectaditos con nosotros puedan entender nuestra conversación y la presentación en inglés de este programa. I welcome you to your connection here and now. My name is Elaine Enriquez. We have a very special guest, Sita Steglish Ross, is president of Steglish Ross and Associates marketing company located in Orlando, Florida. A certified meeting professional with more than 30 years of experience in meetings, conventions, and event sales and business development. She is a trusted resource for the meeting planning industry. Zita, thank you so much. It's just wonderful to have you here in this program. Tell us about yourself and all the things that you do to help people around the world. I'm excited to be meeting with you. Thank you for the invitation. It's wonderful. It's wonderful to meet uh, just amazing people do, that do wonderful things around the world. And um, I can't wait for you to talk about you, exactly what it is that you do that is so wonderful for our audience to learn <laughs> and to get to know you. Sure, sure. I'd love to share information about my adventures um, over the years. That's wonderful. Now that we're going through a pandemic period uh, from last year and still uh, this year, uh, how is it uh, with what you do professionally for businesses and um, all the things that you have to go through uh, to help? You know, one of the wonderful things about um, you know, what I've learned over the last year, the last 12 months is that you need to pivot. You need to learn um, how to make shifts in your day-to-day -day activities and how you do business. And so instead of meeting face-to-face, -face, you know, we're doing exactly what we're doing today is meeting virtually um, or calling on the phone and setting up different types of websites and just just finding out the best way of connecting uh, clients and their customers together. Now, Zita, does it matter what type of business it is that social media benefits from, or there are just some businesses that you can actually do in uh, social media itself? Sure, so it does, um, you know, the demographics are important. So not everyone is on social media. And so how do you reach out to those individuals? So you may have to look at other ways of connecting with people if they're not there. So you have to really understand um, who your customer, who your client is in order to, you know, to figure out what are the best, best methods of reaching them. Um, so, for instance, if you, there are some people that are in, you know, their late 60s, 70s that might not be on social media uh, and then you would, you know, they may be on or they may be on Facebook and not on Instagram. So you have to understand your your client base to find out exactly where are they and go to them and uh, and, and communicate with them through you know, marketing or messaging or whatever is the best method for them. But now today, everyone is in social media. It's like a frenzy. It's something new, but it's been in existence for quite some time. But for most people, uh, it's hard to expose all their products, uh, business information. How should they proceed? Is there a protocol a process in which they should consider? Yes. So understanding, I'm going to go back to understanding who your client is. So for instance, um, let's take me as an example. I am, uh, I hope you don't mind me sharing my age, but I'm 60 years old and I am primarily on Facebook. But you have Instagram, you have um, TikTok, you have Twitter, you have so many other different um, avenues to connect with people. So you have to understand where are the people that you are trying to meet. And the very first thing I would do is come up with a description. 
who is that individual? Well, um, what is her, what is that person's age? Male or their female? What is um, what are the some of the things that they like? And um, where would you find them primarily? Because you can get overwhelmed with the various um, vehicles that are out there to um, find them. You know, it, it, you have, it takes a lot of time to connect with people on all of the social media um, uh, roadmaps, but, you, but do you have that much time? So it would be better to identify and fine tune where the most important or the, the largest group that you're trying to reach out to. Now, how is it important to have God in the midst of all our planning and all our procedures and processes to make our business work? Oh my goodness. You have to start up first thing in the morning is praying to God and say, please guide me into the right direction. And, uh, you know, thank you for all that you have done for us because um, without him, we would not know where to go, what to do. And he, he, the very first basis is, you know, coming from him and his messaging to us. So listen carefully to what, what is he sharing with us um, to know what is our very next steps. Um, I tell you, I've had some very interesting experiences over my lifetime, and not everyone knows this, but um, I would say about seven or so years ago, I had a brain aneurysm, and I, you know, many people didn't think I was going to make it and 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 be here with you today. But uh, my husband and I prayed throughout the process while I was going through the ordeal. And I, I tell you that he has lined up my steps every single day. And um, I'm a much, much happier person for it. Wow, we are so thankful uh, that the Lord was there with you through that process and that today you're here with us, enlightening on how to become better stewards of what God has given us as far as our professional life, our business life, and everything that makes our life fulfilled with things to do that are positive, uh, that can also bless others. And talking about this wonderful blessing, how do you feel about all the doors that God has opened for you? Because you have worked with many important people and um, this is not a light weight, this is a heavy weight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, you know, I, 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 I sigh and I just take it all in and I am, I am so thankful. Um, you, when, you're, when you're speaking to someone one-on-one, -on -one, you find out that no matter what position they, they have held, they're people too. And they have had to overcome many challenges themselves. And then the common denominator most often is that they have found God and they have you know, lined up their footsteps as well. So you have that commonality with them and it opens up the doors and the communication just flows and then you're able to help each other. So you, what I've learned is that you, you learn from your clients, you learn from um, everyone that you come in contact with through um, having the same uh, connection, having the same belief. And it has truly has guided me throughout my life. Um, especially, I would say even more so in the last 13 years. I've always been a believer, but I, I, I want to say that I was, you know, somewhat on the, uh, you know, like in the middle. I, I, I didn't jump in 100%. And, um, and then I realized, oh my gosh, my life has been a blessing. I've been able to help so many people not only the people that I have worked with, but even my family members and how I should treasure that. And it really opened my eyes on how I need to move forward um, better as a, as, as a better um, connector, as, a, as, a, as speaking to God on a daily basis, reading, reading the word on a daily basis. And, and since then, my entire life completely shifted. Not only did he save me, but then um, the people that I, I came in contact with also shifted too. So sometimes you have to leave some things behind to 
for a better life. This is something that I'm going to share with you, and it just happened. It wasn't prepared prior to the programming as we usually do. It's actually flowing in, in the natural, uh, because we're talking about the Almighty. We're talking about God Himself. And I just want to take this opportunity to honor you on this program for the wonderful work that you have done and achieved and are still doing and pursuing for other people. Thank you so much. Um, you know, I, I couldn't have done it without him. Um, I, I feel like I'm just a vessel and I just open up and, and it just flows through and I'm just able to help. Um, sometimes I don't know where I get my information from, but it just actually just flows through. It's amazing. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I have a friend of, 20, oh, I want to say maybe 30 years. And he needed some business advice. Um, and um, he, he posed a question for me. Uh, I, I, I was a little startled by the question and I meditated for a, a hot second. And I shared with him what he needed and he was dumbfounded with the my answer. And he told me, Zita, I don't want you to take offense, but I didn't realize how smart you were. I says, it's not me. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> that is wonderful. That is something that's in the supernatural. And when we have faith, God reveals and uses you, Zita, to be able to transmit God's message to those wonderful people that are looking to move forward. Because it is a difficult time, and we've all gone through it together, hand in hand, no matter what country you may be in, what state, what sector, it doesn't matter <laughs> where you come from, whether you are uh, monetarily well or just striving, it just doesn't matter. But what, what happens here is that God has united everyone and has made his presence in so many different ways. And we're talking about the business sense, the prosperity sense uh, in this conversation, which we're led to continue. And doing so, what advice, being so that so many people are going to be viewing this program and are viewing currently this program with so many different perspectives when it comes to business aspect. What do we say? Well, you know, the first thing that comes to mind is don't give up. You know, trust in God and know that there is a future. Um, we may not know what it is, but um, align your steps, have faith, and continue moving forward. We did not know um, that this pandemic was going to hit. We did not know how our entire world was going to change, but yet we will prosper. And you know, it, it won't look the same. Um, we just need to continue moving forward and trust, have, have faith. Uh, I, I, I do feel that people are nervous I do feel that they, um, you know, there's so much that is unknown, but if they put their trust in God and they just release whatever burden that they have and give it to him, then there, there will be more clarity on what they, what they should be doing next. Zita, they should all include social media, no matter <laughs> what their age, no matter what their knowledge. Uh, because it does make you nervous <laughs> dealing yes. with social media. <laughs> but I it, guess it, there's, it, there's an important fact that we need to learn to adjust. Absolutely. So back to social media. Yes, you know, it's, it's constantly changing and, and continue to learn about how to utilize it and, you know, read upon it. Um, it, 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 it comes uh, with so many different benefits. Uh, you can learn about how to connect with people, what um, information that they're looking for and how to uh, 
describe it? You know, is it more graphics? Is it more content? Is it, um, you know, what is it that, that will connect you closer? But you need to do a little bit re of research and understand how to utilize social media to the best of your ability. There's so many um, different things out there that can help you uh, learn. So for instance, um, there's, a, there's a, a free service called Canva, C-A-N-V-A. Canva helps you create a uh, graphic artwork so that you can utilize that freely. Um, there are other um, services or, or subscriptions that you can pay for, but basic uh, Canva is free and you can play around in it and learn how do I utilize these graphics to connect with the people on uh, on any social media platform that you might be utilizing. Wow, that's wonderful. And you mentioned the word earlier in our conversation, it's pivot. Can you describe what that means precisely? Oh, for me, it's... Um, it means to make a quick turn. So pivot. Uh, let's say you 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 hit a roadblock, such as such as COVID. Um, all of a sudden, we needed to stay home instead of engaging with people face to face. We now had to figure out how do we connect with people. So that is you know instead of hitting that roadblock, you pivot and you turn and say, what else could I do? So that's when you reach out to social media and then you figure out the next pivot. How do I use social media? What what tools do I need to connect with people on social media? So that's another quick turn. So it's, it's a pivoting is a constant movement of turning away from um, from something negative or perceived negativity to something positive. Wow. And talking about this. Can you give us more information or enlighten us on being an ambassador of Orlando urban film industry? Oh, sure. That was so much fun. So um, we have uh, a, a, a couple of film festivals here in the Orlando area. And um, the Orlando Urban F Film Festival is an annual event. It has been around for at least, um, I, I want to say at least 10 years. And uh, so what they've asked me to do is reach out to my contacts and share with them how else can um, they learn about the new films that are being um, revealed. And, and so, you know, their budget was a little on the tight side. So what that means is why don't they connect with people that they have larger audiences and that way they can share with their audiences, which you call an influencer. I guess you could call me an ambassador slash influencer and share the information about the film festival so that they can gain uh, more eyes on the different events that they were doing virtually. So that was a lot of fun. We, um, you know, we, they had some good speakers and they had uh, a couple of films that they wanted to showcase. And uh, we were able to bring more eyes to to that event. Um, so it was a very successful event. And I believe they'll be doing that again this year. Oh, that's wonderful. Then you should come back and let us know so we can all be attentive to that date. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And you know, that's another, um, the film festival, how they were utilizing my, my um, influence as an ambassador. You know, I, we do the same thing in other things. So we have a festival in Davy called the Davy Jazz Festival. And it, we held it in 2019 due to COVID. We did not host it in 2020, but we are going to host it in um, 2022. And um, we're giving this year you know, people time to get their vaccine and and prepare. Uh, so we'll be doing that again and utilizing influencers in the South Florida area to share information about the festival as we get closer so that we invite them to make sure that they join us for that festival. Oh, that's wonderful. It's good to hear about that because these are things that are coming back. They've been away yeah. for a little bit of time, but now they're returning and people can once again enjoy all this wonderful uh, manifestation of music and professional artists. 
Yes, absolutely. It's, um, you know, it's a wonderful feeling to see and, and stand in the background and watch all those people in the audience smiling and then just um, being elated with the sound of, of music and um, being with their friends and family together. It's, it's a wonderful feeling. So yes, it's coming back. It's been a wonderful, wonderful conversation uh, during the filming of this program with you. I've really enjoyed it. But time is always advancing. <laughs> When you're, when you're enjoying the conversation and just being enlightened by your life, uh, by the things you do and how you help others. And there's one name I want to mention, Vicky Romero. What uh -huh. comes to mind? <laughs> sweet, sweet Vicky, the voice of an angel. I can't wait to see her again. She is a phenomenal performer. She has the heart of gold. And her husband is wonderful, too. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Wonderful to have spent this time with you, Zita. I do want you to return so we can continue to bring more information to our audience, how they can better um, enlighten themselves with their business endeavors and just uh, have a good career and a prosperous one as well. I would love to join you again. Thank you so much for your time today. This has been wonderful. I know the time has passed too quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think I, I would stay with you all day if I had the chance. <laughs> I'm going to drive down and come and visit you um, soon. Oh, wonderful. Then you can be here in our set. Uh, I know for the yes. people that are seeing us, they'll see the set. But the people that are listening us through the radio, um, well, they, they need to tune in uh, to our YouTube channel so they can see our set as well. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> thank Fantastic. you, Sita. And thank you for joining us today. It was wonderful, wonderful to have spent time with our special guest and all of you. Visit us at our social media outlets and our website in www.ovmradio.com. We'll have more information to enlighten your day. Thank you, God bless you, and I'll see you on the next episode of Your Connection Here and Now. Bye-bye. Hemos presentado tu programa, tu conexión, aquí y ahora. El próximo jueves a las 8 de la noche será nuestra próxima cita por OBN Radio.